Hey y'all, Steve here. Let's get right to it today. Have you ever wanted to convert a video from one format to another? Well, probably if you've done any work with video, you probably have. As a matter of fact, today I have a client video and they want me to deliver it in a WMV file. The movie currently is a .mov, which is like a quick time video, but they want me to deliver it as a WMV file. And I'm going to show you how I do it with one of my favorite softwares, free softwares uh, to convert video files, Video Monkey. Now I use Video Monkey a lot. Navigate over to videomonkey.org. It's a free download. If you'd like to donate to the effort, they have a donate button. I'm sorry, Windows users, but this is a video converter for Mac. So I won't go through the process of downloading this and opening it up and everything. It's all very simple. Go ahead and uh, download the file and start Video Monkey. It'll be in your applications folder. And on the screen, you can see I have Video Monkey up. It's ready to go, ready for me to start converting. Video Monkey is really easy to use. It's a simple drag and drop user interface. Okay, I've located the video that I need to convert from a .mov to a WMV, and it's a simple process. Just click it, drag and drop into Video Monkey. I'm gonna stay focused on just converting this video of mine today to a WMV file. Once your video is queued up, right down here you'll see Convert To. I have WMV. It will give you some other video formats, AVI, MP4, QuickTime, Flash, MPEG, and so on. I'm choosing WMV. Right here in this dropdown, I am at Encode Only. Over here at your encoding speed, you have some dropdowns here with other choices. I usually pick the best two-pass I want to deliver the best possible file to my client. And right here you can see limit output parameters to input. So basically it's going to it's going to deliver the same output as you inputted on your file. However, it will be in a different format. Just below you have a quality slider. You can move it all the way to the left which is tiny. You can go to high. I always put my conversions on Go Nuts. I have no idea what that means and what the developer is doing there, but I'm sure it's good. So I always put it at Go Nuts. Now I'm also going to unclick this 320 pixels wide. I don't want that, so I'm going to uncheck that. The next thing you need to pay attention to is here at the bottom left, when done, save to. I always, you can you can navigate to wherever you want, but for me, it's always easiest to put it on my desktop. I've done everything that I need to do now to convert my movie to a WMV file. The next step is just to click the start button right up here on the top left. Down here at the bottom, you will begin to see a progress bar. As you can see, my progress bar is telling me 17 minutes are remaining for this file conversion, so I'll come back when it's done. Once your video is finished encoding, you'll get a pop-up dialog box, encoding successful. You can click OK on that. I will tell you this, that it said 17 minutes earlier in the video, and actually the entire encoding process was closer to an hour, so be prepared for that. Didn't bother me at all, I had other things to do, and I just let the software run. And now you can navigate to your desktop to find the video. I've navigated to my desktop. Here is the video and you can see right here that it has been converted to a WMV file. So let me click inside here and make sure that the video is working. Place transformer. We're going to go through some stuff about what do you do before you build a bank. All right, works great. Now I can deliver that video to my client. So there you go. If you need to convert video files from one format to another, I highly recommend VideoMonkey. Today I converted a .mov file to a .wmv file. I hope this was helpful. If it was, click like, subscribe, and share with your friends and your network. And I will see you in the next video.